Russia and Ukraine are expected to sign today a much-anticipated deal brokered in Turkey to allow the flow of grain and fertilizers from the war-torn region. The agreement, based on a UN plan, would see grain exports resume through the Black Sea. The safety of the shipments is expected to be overseen by a UN monitoring group based in Istanbul. What we're trying to do is have an agreement that would allow for uh, Ukrainian and Russian uh, of food and fertilizer to reach global markets. As you know, we've pointed out uh, for many months how serious the, the food crisis around the world is, and this is a component, a large component of that, uh, of that crisis. So if we can resolve this, well, the situation remains a little bit fluid, so I can't really say when something will be signed. However, some sides remain skeptical over Russia's commitment to the deal. The fact is that, to date, Russia has weaponized uh, food during this conflict. Uh, they have destroyed agricultural facilities. They prevented uh, millions of tons of Ukrainian grain from getting to, to those who need it. Uh, as I said, we welcome the announcement of this agreement in principle, but what we're focusing on now uh, is holding Russia accountable for implementing uh, this agreement and for enabling uh, Ukrainian grain to get to world markets. This could be the first major deal between the warring sides since Russia invaded Ukraine. It is also seen as a solution to a looming global food crisis. NATO member Turkey has played a key role in facilitating talks.